Hello and welcome back to Easy English with James. Really quick lesson for you today. We're going to look at two common phrasal verbs. Now, many students this week have asked me for this lesson, so I thought I'd make it. And it's it's just a quick thing. Basically, the two verbs we're going to look at are to come across and to come upon. Now, both of these are phrasal verbs. Okay. What does that mean? A phrasal verb is basically two or more words that are brought together and they change the meaning of each individual word. Okay. If, for example, in to come across, we have the words to come and across. Okay. We know the meaning of to come and we might know the meaning of across. But when you put them together to make a phrasal verb, you have to come across, and the meaning of that. Is neither to come or across. It is a completely new meaning. What does it mean? Okay, let me give you a nice little scenario, a story. Imagine that you are walking along a beach, and you're happy with your friends. You're looking at the sea, and then you look down and you see a gold coin in the sand, and you take that gold coin very happily. And you run home and you tell your family, while I was walking on the beach, I came across this beautiful gold coin. Why did you say came across? Let me explain. To come across means to find something by accident or to find something with no effort on your part. That means you didn't try to find that gold coin. You went to the beach for a nice walk with your friends, but by accident you found this beautiful gold coin. So when you speak about finding that coin, you might say, "While I was walking on the beach, I came across this beautiful old coin." Okay. Now another way we can use to come across is when we're trying to look for information. Imagine that you're studying at university and you're desperate to find a really important piece of information for your homework or for your essay, and no matter what you do, you can't find that piece of information. And then, when you're very relaxed one night, you've finished working, finished studying, you open a book just for fun, and bam! Right in the page where you open the book is the information that you're looking for. You would say, "When I stopped looking for that information, I came across it completely by accident." Okay, I studied for a long time and could not find that information, but I came across it by complete accident one day when I picked up a book at night in the evening when I was relaxing. Okay, remember to come across means. To find something or discover something by accident and without effort. Okay. See if you can write another example of that in the comments below. Okay, and I'll check it for you. Moving on to come upon. To come upon is basically exactly the same as to come across. Okay. It is much more commonly used in written. English. Okay. Let's say you found a really old, ancient artifact. That means like a a precious stone or something from a country or civilization that is many thousands of years old, and you bring that to a museum. the The museum owner or the people who work in that museum they might ask you, "Where did you come upon something like this? Where did you come upon something like this?" Essentially, where did you find something like this? But they are guessing that you didn't look for this thing; you found it by accident again. Okay, so to come upon is a much more formal version. You might use this when you're writing a formal essay in English. Okay, I came upon a really interesting piece of information while I was reading this book. Okay, one day I was walking in the forest. When I came upon a strange animal, okay, came upon, come across, 
same, same meaning, just one come upon is a little bit more formal. See if you can give me an example of one or the other in the comments below. Thanks for joining us for this short lesson today, and there'll be a lot more of these coming soon. Make sure to hit like and subscribe if you want to receive more interesting English content, and I will see you again soon. Okay, bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.